How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor. We're here again with another Wi-Fi Pokemon battle video, and I am facing with a new rival, Angel of the Night 091. His side of this Wi-Fi battle video is up as well, in which he actually recorded it live, and I was part of it. So if you want to go see it, definitely hit that up. I'll put it in the description for y'all to see. Now this is an OU-ish match in which we can bring random stuff, I believe. Here we go. He starts off with Pyroar and I begin with my choice Scarf High Dragon going for U-Turn. The reason I went for that move is just because I figured since most of the Pyroar sets I run into are Sash, we'll just have to beat it and break it. But if he doesn't have it, then oh well. Now unfortunately for me, that Aqua Jet did not do the type of damage. It's not enough. And it's huge power too. Ugh. So, I mean, we do take out Pyroar with two Aqua Jets, but I lost a ton of HP there. Expecting a Ghost or a Grass type move, I go into Trooper here. My Mega Venusaur. He went for Shadow Sneak just in case that I had Sap Stripper, and that is also a common ability that a Zoomerol can get. Well, that was a good play on my opponent's part. I go for Slush Bomb, and it did okay damage. It's a big form of Gore Guys, so I wasn't expecting it to KO or whatever. Here I go into, I believe, Zap Ghost. Oh no, not yet. Sorry, spoilers. I go into Airbender. And I take that really well. Now here I over predict, okay? I was predicting the Rhyperior switch in. If you didn't see the team preview, he has a Rhyperior, in which I was a little bit aware of. And also I thought U turn would do super effective damage, but that completely failed. <laughs> if you can tell. Now here I finally go into Zapdos. And I actually am faster which is good. I go for full switch, not going to do anything. And holy crap, that that move, Phantom Force, is too strong. It's a two-hit KO on a legendary Pokemon. He's forced to go with another Shadow Sneak, and that's fine with me. And here I, I was going to go for Flamethrower with my High Dragon, but as I say, I was aware of that right here. So, going for U-Turn plus Heat wave, we're going to take out the Gorgeist. Now here we have an issue in which yeah, okay, flame charge with as fast as a Shaker, you know that's not fun. And here I go into Airbanger after this. To hopefully I'll speed it. But he's faster and guess what? He has Thunder Wave. That is huge. Okay, the reason it's huge is because Again, if you saw the team preview, he has a Mega Alakazam, and I cannot outspeed him if I have a Choice Scarf user, in which now he's paralyzed, I can't take him out. So I go for a Dark Pulse to take out that Zipstrika, which Zipstrika actually made the best play in the whole entire match, and that was going for Thunder Wave. Like I said, there's a Mega Alakazam coming to the battlefield. Not very fun, especially when you're paralyzed. Blarg. That is just unfortunate. He's going to KO me with a Dazzling Gleam, and that's just the start of massive destruction. I go to Azumarill. Yeah, I do have priority on this team, in which priority is not Alakazam's best friend. I'll say that for sure. We're going to go for Aqua Jet, and then we can go into Kalios, the Arcanine, who is choice banded. The Intigamate is not going to do much whatsoever. By then, I forgot all about his Rhyperior. <laughs> I will say that. I should have predicted that coming in, but I had to make the safe play there, going for extreme speed. And I just looking at this Rhyperior like, ugh, that's unfortunate. That means I have to switch out and I go back into Trooper expecting a Earthquake. I probably should have gone to Hitmontop, but I, you know what, I, I'll say that right now. I admit I should have gone to Hitmontop. Not sure why I went for that, you know, source version. Now I think about it. I predicted the Gilbert. 
Gilbert the Guga that is switching in. So that's why I went for the sludge bomb right there. And I know it's a salt vesting. I know it's a salt a salt vesting. Okay. So we have to hit it on the physical side. Going for a flare blitz. And I was amazed by this damage. Holy crap, and he resisted it. So this is awesome. We put it at a range in which something faster will come in to revenge kill. Now he has Muddy Water, and Muddy Water is not a reliable move. It will miss at times. Granted, it has 85% accuracy, so never mind on that, I guess, because it worked out for him. I go for the fake out with a normal gem boost, plus the combination of Sucker Punch, in which Sucker Punch works out great just for those situations in which Mach Punch isn't very effective. I go for Mach Punch now on the Rhyperior because it's super effective, but guess what? That's a critical hit. This is definitely a physically defensive Rhyperior here because that did nothing. Absolutely nothing. I probably should have switched out, but guys, I can't really because then I have to sacrifice Venusaur and Venusaur is my last Pokemon. So if I went for that sacrifice, I would have just hit on top with a fake out. I need a fake out to hit the Alakazam. And that's kind of why I didn't want to switch out. I just, I had to stay in, go for those mock punches, and then we can take out the Rhyperior with my Venusaur. But guess what? I just, I don't have anything with hitting the uh, Alakazam very hard. If that's all confusing, then unfortunately I don't have anything else to say. We finished the battle with a critical hit. There you go. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun there. Fantastic match. Thank you, Elena, or Angel of the Night 091. I have another match going up later this week. We're starting to become epic rivals. I'm actually a gym leader for Angel of the Night 091's Snowpoint Temple website. So if you want to go challenge the league, I'll put it down in the description as well. With that said, I hope you all enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle video. Hit that like button and subscribe to see more Wi-Fi battles in the near future. All right, you guys have a great day. I'll come back at you with another Wi-Fi battle coming later this week. All right, goodbye now.